All right, hello boys and girls. So today we are talking a lot about the blue whale. Spike, we're gonna talk about oceans and water animals today. Isn't that exciting? See, Spike thinks it's really exciting too. I know. So I don't know if you know this boys and girls, but when I went to college at first, I wasn't sure what I wanted to be when I grew up. I didn't know that I wanted to be a teacher yet. And when I went to college, I actually went to school to be a biologist, and I especially loved marine biology, which is the study of the oceans and the animals that live in the oceans. I know, it's really exciting. So I love all things water, and especially water animals. So we've been learning a lot of really cool, fun facts about whales. Um, I thought that maybe we could incorporate a little bit of technology today to learn about whales. And I thought a great way to do that, Spike, was with using my own Alexa. I don't know how many of you have an Alexa in your home, but this is a really handy tool for finding out fun facts. If you have one of these in your home, you can just ask it questions like, Alexa, what sound does a blue whale make? <laughs> what do you think about that, Spike? Thank you, Alexa. All right, now maybe we want to ask Alexa some other questions about whales too. Alexa, what do you know about the blue whale? Here's the Wikipedia article on blue whale. The blue whale is a marine mammal belonging to the baleen whale suborder Mysticeti, reaching a maximum confirmed length of 29.9 meters and weight of 177 tons. It is the largest animal known to have ever existed. The blue whale's long and slender body can be various shades of grayish blue dorsally and somewhat lighter underneath. Would you like me to keep reading? Oh, Spike, stay here. Oh, that's great. Thank you, Alexa. So that was really interesting how we are able to use our Alexas in our home to find out really cool information like things about whales or the sounds that they make. So if you have any really specific questions about the blue whale and you happen to have an Alexa in your home, you can ask her. Thank you for your help, Alexa. Have a good day. Okay, sometimes she talks back to me, but that's all right. Okay, thanks, Alexa. So I also have here a really great video that I thought that you could see. Come in really closely and take a look at this screen and I want to play for you this video I found that is the sound of the whales. You have to listen really carefully. Do you hear that? So boys and girls look right here at the fin of the whale, the way that it's moving through the water and the sounds that these whales make underwater can travel up to 500 miles. That's as far as going from our home all the way to like the Outer Banks, if you go to the beach there in North Carolina. That's so, so, so far. And that's how whales communicate with one another. Now, if you like this video, I'm gonna be attaching this to the email today. And I also was really hoping that you would get a chance to see the whales on here are going to demonstrate their blow holes. That's how the whales are able to breathe underwater. Do you see how the air came up out of the back of the whale? That's actually how a whale breathes. And it's the warm air inside of the, of the whale when it comes out, because it usually lives in really cold places, you can see the droplets of water that come up out of the whale. Here you can see in the oceans that it's very clean and well taken care of. But remember boys and girls, yesterday was Earth Day and we're talking a lot about protecting our Earth and our oceans. And it's so important to keep the oceans clean and safe for our whales so they have a habitat where they can live and be really happy. 
I'll be attaching this video to you for the daily email. And Spike and I hope that you are really enjoying all your whale facts and learning about whales and especially those crazy whale sounds. They sound really strange, don't they? Very different from a dog. All right, well, that's all. We hope you have a great day. So long.